Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging. Welcome friends to the 2019 Christmas Clean and Decorate With Me video. My name is Kristen and this is Life Made Simple. Today we will be cleaning and decorating my fireplace for the 2019 Christmas season. This year I am going for a more simple and clean minimal approach to to decorating for the holidays. I'm not a huge fan of clutter and I don't like a lot of things laying around, but I still want that cozy warm feeling of Christmas that I had growing up. This fireplace has been needing a major facelift and now is the perfect time to tackle this task. As you can tell, I am sanding it, I am wiping it down. I actually really want to paint this fireplace black and that is what I'm going to be doing at the beginning of this video. If you seen at the very first clip, I had construction paper on it. That's because that was my little hack of seeing if I actually liked it black. I was afraid the black was gonna be a little bit too harsh and actually I loved it and we had the, con or the construction paper on the fireplace for like a week and a half and I was like, okay, I'm in love with it. We're gonna do it. Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the beat, bring the cheese, bring the cheese, put the lights up. I decided to go with the Rust-Oleum chalked paint that they have. They have a matte black, which that's what this is, and then I also went ahead and I put a matte clear finish over top. I did about three coats of that. I did not show that part just because you get the gist. It's pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited how this turned out. I'm so glad that I did it and I should have done this way sooner. Because this was natural stone to begin with, it was actually really hard to get those clean lines. When I pulled the tape off, I had to actually like go back in and tediously for like two hours, try to make everything straight. It was kind of a mess, but it was super easy. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us if you've been here for a while, then you know my TV used to be above the fireplace and I actually a couple months back took it down. And this is me trying to figure out how to use this wrench because I'm pretty handy, I like to think, but I think I've never used a wrench before. So my husband was trying to teach me how to do it and he just had shoulder surgery or he would be doing this, but I decided I wanted it down, so I took it down. But as long as you're around Everything will be okay. Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday. And to show that nothing ever actually goes as planned all the time, my original plan was to hang this piece of artwork that I got from Kirkland's on sale for like 15 bucks a few months back. I wanted to hang it on the fireplace. Well, I now know why it was $15. It's warped. I've always had it just leaning against the fireplace wall, like the shiplap, and never noticed it until now. And I can't. I can't hang it up because it is not straight at all. And yes, I am like the biggest redneck ever. I used white duct tape to hold my ribbon on the back. And let's all take a guess when this is going to fall down or if we think it's actually going to last all Christmas season. Down in the description, I will link as many items as I can. Both of these, wreath and the garland, are from Walmart. They're very inexpensive, and yes, it's flocked, and it does kind of like come off quite a bit, like there was quite a bit of a mess, but I think it's worth it. I think it was nice. It was only $10 for this huge garland, so I'm very happy with it. And this is also number one with the clean and decorate me, decorate me. Oh my gosh, clean and decorate series that I have for this holiday season. I think I should have three or four of them. So those will be coming out in the next two to three weeks, hopefully all before really like, before we really get too far into December.
Comment down below once you see all my choices of pillows and blankets and let me know which one's your favorite. I was having the hardest time. Like I love this little truck with the Christmas tree, but you can't really tell in this clip, but it is not white at all. It's like a burlapy color and it just kind of clashed with all the white that I have in this area and I just wasn't feeling it but then at the same time I have so much plaid and in the end I ended up just going with my blanket that my mother-in-law made and so far I'm liking it I'm still not a huge fan of my plaid pillowcase I got all these pillowcases from Amazon like three years ago and they were super super cheap and you can tell you and me in the cold, thought it never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This video literally took me from 7 p.m on a Saturday night all the way till 1 a.m. just to decorate these few areas. I love when I watch clean and decorate with me videos and you watch people and they kind of like take forever to decorate one space and because that's realistic like I literally go through and I stare at it I have to think about it I want it to be even I want it to look good and my whole thing is if you're new here and you don't know, we are a military family. We only have about a year and a half left in this house. We bought this house and we are flipping it. And it is much bigger than our old house. Like it's just a total different layout and the ceilings are higher. So it just seems like way more giant. But I'm trying my hardest not to buy too much new decor when it comes to seasonal decor because I don't know what our next house is going to be. So I don't want to buy a ton of decor and then we have a smaller living area next time around. It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I have got asked before if I purposely leave my curtains like that and it's just kind of happens to stay like that because if I go to clean or mop I always tie them up and then they end up just getting left up and to be honest in that corner over where the shiplap starts my black lab loves to lay there I have no clue why like she has a bed but yet she chooses to lay on the tile right there and she's black and the curtains are white and then the curtains end up being black because she rubs up all on them so half the time I tie them up and they just stay up there but once in a while I like to let them down hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love get all the Christmas songs that we love and then while good cleaning hack if you have a lantern like this just get a can of air and blow it out so much easier let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful kissing on a mistletoe In one of my next cleaning videos, I will actually be decorating my tiered tray. I decide to not do it tonight just because I have no clue exactly what I'm doing with it. I have a few staple pieces, but I feel like I still need to go buy some more colorful pieces. So I'm saving that for another video. What we're gonna do, I feel so blessed that I can be Make sure you watch to the very end so you can see a picture of what the house looked like when we first moved in, the fireplace area, and what it looks like now. I hope you guys like this video. Stick around because I have a couple more clean and decorate with me videos for you guys this holiday season, and I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Bye! All I want is to spend this day with you
Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful 